20th December 2018. We were at the sets, we in the sense, my team, Space Kids India, were at the sets of Chennai Doordarshan, and we were interviewed for the success of this satellite. This satellite, Kalamsat, a palm-sized satellite, 64 grams, and it did wonders when it was launched through the NASA Stereo Orion rocket. Though a suborbital launch, there were a lot of accolades, and of course, a lot of brickbats. Because brickbats, because a satellite has to go around the orbit, but they just went in a parabola. So everybody said, why call this a satellite? It is just a suborbital launch. But it is an idea of a bunch of children. A bunch of children is my team, led by lead scientist Rafat Shahrukh, a 19-year-old kid. And if you take all the averages of the child, it's only 19 years. So what if it went suborbital? It's still an idea where huge satellites in tons were designed, but we could bring down the size, we could bring down the weight and show the world that we could do a nanosat, a femtosat category like this. So the idea has to be appreciated, and that is the power and youth of India. Given an opportunity, they just disrupt the mundane. They just bring out ideas. It is just the platform, and that platform is Space Kids India. Well, for any aerospace enthusiast, orbital launch is the ultimate. And when we were thinking of orbital launch, suddenly, while we were talking amidst the conversation and the interview on 20th December, if I go back, I was asked the question, what's your next vision? I said, we are going in a PSLV's rocket through ISRO. Little did I know the dream was going to be true, and the team landed at ISRO on 10th of January 2019. And it's all the scientists, the senior scientists of ISRO headquarters at Bangalore. We were there sitting and making our presentation. And at the end of the presentation, the scientist said, you're on a go. You're on a go for a launch on 24 January 2019. I froze. I mean, <laughs> you, you can really, really... I was in shivers. I was sweating. The aircon was in 19, but I was sweating. What would happen in a week's time? Six days. That's the challenge post. Because they knew, Israel knew, the power of Indian youth. They said, you are the organization who have made eight balloon launches, two suborbital launches, so now is your time. Step up. Step up and make this happen. And you're going to be the leaders for the future generation. So that kept ringing in my ears. And I said, we got to make this happen. And my dear friends, you know who my scientists are? I told you, they are all 18-year-old kids. And after the brickbats of this satellite, they were a little low on their emotions. But when I called them from Bangalore and told them, opportunity seldom knocked the door, so grab it. We are on. We are going for a launch on 24 January, and they were shocked. How are we going to handle this? How are we going to handle this? Because we need to make a 3D design of the structure. We need to test. We need to go on a vibration test. That's going to be the most difficult part. We have to source the components, because most of it, people would say it's cots. After all, it's kits. You know, you just buy, you just assemble things, for which, again, you need brains. You need to code. You cannot just buy things and put together, because that's not our team is made of. So we designed the structure, we put things together. So what if we had to fly to San Francisco to get the solar panels, to Dubai to get components, to get to the Singapore to get some more ICs? We did it all. And on 16th of January, we went on to URSC Center, Israel, for the vibration test. 
And we were all so nervous because vibration of PSLV is the worst. It's, it vibrates like hell, and your satellite should sustain that. People there said, please be careful, close your eyes, you may fling, the nuts may fling, please be careful. But when there is a will and when there is hard work, dedication, my kids, the strongest, they put things together and not one piece of bolt or solar panels flung and we were through for the test. Still, the rocket is made up of so many crores and our teeny weeny baby was going to be seated there and it was going to be launched. You just threw everything to the universe and you said, please, please make this launch a successful one because this speaks about the economics. Tons of youth satellite for a technology demonstration is not required. Students can make satellites in small sizes, in a less weight and economical, because we Indians believe in economics. And where we were building satellites in crores of rupees, we brought it down to meager lakhs. Where it was built in tons, we brought it in grams. And that's how 24 January 1137, the rocket was launched. The fire fumes went down and all our aspirations went high. We said, we Space Kids India believe the future of our country depends on economics, on awareness, and how reachable you are to children. And we are doing that day in and day out. But little did I think about this when I started seven years ago, Space Kids India, where I was the ambassador for the NASA Space Camp and the Russian Space Center taking children there, almost about 1,500 children there, just to give them a hands-on experience. And today, we are here in this journey where we started building satellites and next, we move on to build a satellite to the International Space Station. Again, it's going to be the first ever time. Challenges. We have had enough and more challenges. But I think these challenges put us together as a team, made us tough, and universe conspires our thoughts. Because last seven years, we've been dreaming of this day where we wanted to have this launch, this orbital launch. So we are the only organization in the world now to have nine balloon satellite launches, two suborbital launches, and one orbital launch. So we are very, very happy and proud about that. So our journey, we want to inspire the youth of this country and say, for all the people who mocked us and who said, this is not possible, one Mr. Srinivas Lakshman wrote about us. He wrote our journey from Gulab Jamun to the stars, where we were inspired. This was an inspiration from a Gulab Jamun. And today, what he had written has come true. We are in the stars when we look up. Our baby is up there. So we have a small video of our journey, and hope you'll enjoy that. Thank you.